What I really want to talk to you about is how this might have changed the course of history. It's a period of warfare which was more or less king, and the House of Plantagenet have changed the course of history. Quite a large amount of Plantagenet was part of its uh, empire. They fought a war. They also used a technique, I've probably slightly mispronounced that word, but it means raiding, effectively, smashing up your enemy's landscape. You get that sucker on a Randall, 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 Uh, political terror, it sends your ordinary people into hiding in behind fortresses. <laughs> generally a form of psychological warfare on the population. It's generally a form of psychological warfare on the population, but it needs a very mobile force. Now, it's generally a form of psychological warfare on the population. The English were famous. The question is, can you or did you use psychological warfare on the population? <laughs> did you use psychological warfare on the population? <laughs> and what are the complications of using that particular weapon while mounted? <laughs> Did they ever do that? Psychological warfare on the population. I think they probably would have done. Now, maybe they chose to get off first and then shoot. Who knows? Do you think this might have changed the face of a warfare that's really intrigued me? Smashing up your enemy's landscape. It's uh, political terror. <laughs> It's uh, political terror. Smashing up your enemy's landscape. It's a uh, political terror. I hate having to appear like that. Really, is the most tiresome, noisy manifestation. Smashing up your enemy's landscape. So, well, they're expected of one, I suppose. Get down, get down. Oh, great one. Oh, supreme being. Oh, creator of all the universe, without whom we'll be naught but scarab beetles oh, on the... Dreadful mess. <laughs> <laughs>